What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so today is a, a great, a great, great, great day. And you might be asking yourself, Devin, why is it such a great day? Well, that's because I have this. With this right here is a, um, what is this? This is the end result of um, a whole lot of schooling. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I finished school back in May. Um, I say back in May, like that was a long time ago. It was actually last month. But anyway, I finished school back in May, and um, this um, this is my uh, this is my degree right here. And um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I actually got this last week. Um, I ordered some stuff and uh, my package was delivered. And when, I, um, when my package got here, I saw this big envelope there. I'm like, what is this? I didn't remember. It. Uh, I don't remember ordering anything that would have come in something like this. And then I saw um, at the top, at the top, you will see it says graduation. I immediately knew what it was um, after I saw that. So um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to uh, receive it as soon as I did. I thought it was going to be like maybe July or August before um, I would receive it. So yeah, I just wanted. To, I thought it would be a good idea to come on camera and open it up. But um. Yes, it's, uh, even though I just, I finished school, what day did I finish school? It was about, about three weeks ago, maybe. I don't know, and the, the reality of it still hasn't sunk in yet. I don't know why, I, which I didn't mention to y'all. I, I was going to Troy University. Um, I did it all online. Um, and what's so crazy about this is, I know a lot of people, when they pick a college, they have like a, maybe they have like a reasoning behind it. Um, maybe, you know, I don't know, you like the history of the school, or maybe your family went there, and you're just trying to keep up the family tradition or whatever. For me, when I decided I wanted to go, uh, when I wanted to get my bachelor's degree, it really, like Troy University, I didn't have any real meaning to it. I just, the school just appealed to me and I liked it. So, and I was so shocked when I uh, applied to it and I was accepted because I'm just going to be completely honest. Um, I don't have the best grades in the world, but uh, yeah, I was accepted and uh, now I'm done. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this open. And um, yeah, like I said, y'all, I received this actually last week. But I still haven't opened it up. You would have thought, like any normal person, as soon as they got it, they would have ripped it open. But not me. But anyway, my graduation would have, uh, my graduation ceremony was supposed to be on the 18th. Today is the 15th that I'm recording this, so almost a whole month ago. And um, they had to cancel it because of this COVID-19 uh, coronavirus situation we got going on. So I did not get to go to my graduation ceremony. It, well, they rescheduled it. So, um... <clears throat> They rescheduled it into the end of the summer term, which is sometime in July. But I made the decision um, that I'm not going to it. Um, like, I, I have this, and um, yeah, I just made the decision that um, I'm not going to do it. I thought about going to it, but I was like, no, nah, you know what, no, I'm kind of over it now. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get this bad boy open. As you can see, Troy University, Troy University, Troy, 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 Troy University, Troy, Troy, T to the R to the O to the Y, Troy University, Troy University, T to the R to the O to the Y. This is it, and yeah, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I've never had like a degree, but well, that's a lie, I have my associates. So yeah, here we go. Let's... Oh, look at the red. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at it. Quality, people. Quality. Oh, man. Wow. Certifies that the Board of Trustees of Troy University, upon recommendation of the faculty, has conferred on Devin Judkins the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Global Business. With all rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining in witness whereof the seal of the university and the signature of its duly, duty, duly, yeah, duly authorized officers are hereto affixed. Granted this 17th day of May in the year of our Lord 2020. Wow. We have the governor's signature and the chancellor of the school's signature on now. I really like this, um, I don't know what you call this picture on it, but that's really nice. It has like the short badging at the top. So, yeah. So that's really it, um, y'all. I wanted to come on here and just kind of open this up. Uh, this is like a major, um, major accomplishment for me. Um, like I mentioned before, y'all, I am not a. Um, to be honest, y'all, I'm one of those type of people. Um, I've never really liked school. Well, I, I know it's not a lot of people who do like school, but I just I really don't like school. And I remember 
when I was getting uh, my senior year in high school, I was like, you know, once I finish high school, this is gonna be it. So during my senior year in high school, I said, you know, let me go ahead and go to community college. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, after I finished school, um, I went to uh, community college, and um, I'm really, I'm really excited to finally be here because it has taken a lot longer than um, I anticipated it. Like I went, I finished high school in 2012, and I started um, community college in um, the fall of 2012. And what essentially it should have been two years, it didn't take that. I went, I went from the fall of 2012 to the fall of 2015. Um, essentially, yeah, I should have like my masters by now. But um, like, I'll be completely honest. I, um, I had, when I went to community college, I had to retake classes. Um, I know for a fact I've talked about this in my vlogs. When I was taking um, accounting, um, when I took accounting one. Um, a little about halfway through the class, I was like, "This is not working out for me," so I ended up dropping it, and um, I had to take it again. I took it again. The I took it in spring, and I took it again the next spring because if you don't know this about me, like uh, like algebra and um, like any type of like uh, accounting, statistics, statistics, any any kind of class, like any really any kind of subject dealing with numbers, I'm just not I'm not like that. Um, I, I struggle. I tend to struggle with that, which is so crazy because back when I was in high school. I don't know if they did this uh, when y'all were going to school, but when I was in high school, they had us taking these tests. And basically, uh, based off of what you said, um, it'll kind of show you um, what type of career field you'll be in. And mine was always like sales or accounting and stuff like that, which I don't, I, I don't see it. Um, because I'm not really good with numbers and stuff like that. Well, I'm good with numbers in the sense of, like, I work at a bank, so I deal with money in that sense. But it's different when you're dealing with money versus accounting and all this other type of stuff. But anyway, I struggled with that, so I had to retake um, accounting one. I took it twice. Um, and then I also took accounting two. But I got a kind of a break. It's, so, it's funny how, every, how things work out. Because um, I took accounting one, and I, like I just said, I had to, uh, I dropped it and ended up taking it again the next semester. But um, <clears throat> a little bit before the halfway mark of the class, one day uh, we were in class and uh, I noticed that my instructor he kept checking his phone and leaving the classroom. Turns out that um, he ended up getting um, a position at another school. So literally about halfway through uh, the the term, the class, the semester, we had to swap out. We got a new instructor, and that made me really nervous because I was I wasn't sure how the new instructor was going to be. I was I was thinking in my mind I'm thinking they're going to be harder than the instructor I have. Um, the the material is going to be harder. But I actually looked up in that class, so um, really, he went easy on us. We only had like one test that we had to take after he took over, and um, <clears throat> it was based off the same problems that we had, we were working um, inside the classroom. So if you were paying attention and you took notes, you had the answers to the test. And then um, once it came time for our final, we had a sign-in sheet that we had to sign into. So once we passed that around, everybody signed it, and we gave it back to him. He was like, that was the easiest. Um, final y'all ever had so I was able to pass that class I think I passed it you know coming out of there with an A and then I also had to take accounting too at the community college and um that was during the spring and up until then I had never taken summer classes I just wasn't a fan of taking for some summer classes but I found out that that same instructor was going to be teaching that summer so um and he was I said let me let me go ahead while they're getting is good let me register for summer classes and uh, so I can take him and he went pretty easy, easy on us um with the in, in the accounting two class too. My algebra classes, um, I'm I'm not that good with algebra, so I had to retake a couple of those. I first registered for core, uh, for uh, classes at the community college. I had to take a placement test, and so um, they put me, um, of course, because like math is like my least favorite. That's the one I my subject I struggle the most with, and so I ended up getting put in um, developmental math. So. Um, which is good because I took it and I didn't pass it, but um, it was a develop developmental course, so it doesn't count towards your um, your GPA, at least at my school. So um, yeah, I took it, didn't pass it, took it again, I passed it the second time. Then I had to take Math 100, uh, didn't pass it the first time, took it again, didn't pass it again. Took it the third time, I finally passed it. So um, and I'm not ashamed to say that this uh, all of that has led to uh, me being right here now. So I'm um, I'm not in no way ashamed of that. Also, in addition to you know me retaking classes, there were a couple of times where you know my grades they started to slip, and I was like, you know, maybe it's time for me to stop and take a break. So I, um, when I was at the community college, I took a whole semester off, and then um, at Troy, I ended up taking a term off. That kind of slowed me down a little bit. Which, um, if you don't know anything about the Troy um, online program, basically. Um, Every, the classes are set up into terms. So um, <clears throat> the one term is uh, nine weeks long. So you, I took two classes per term. So essentially, one term, well, two terms at Troy University Online is the equivalent to one semester. So I would take two classes every term. So four class, uh, 
four classes um, over the course of two terms, 18 weeks, half a semester. So it's, it's the same as um, as uh, your traditional, um, you going to school for a whole semester, you taking four classes. So it's really the same thing. All right, y'all, so I just want to come in here and share this with y'all. I'm so happy to finally have this because um, it's taken me a long time to get here. Like I said, I finished high school in 2012. It is now 2020 and I'm finally finished with my, uh, I finally have my bachelor's degree. So um, really, I should have my uh, master's by now, but no, it's time for me to find another job. So it's so funny because um, a couple weeks before I finished school, um, there was a position that came available at my job that I'm working at the company that I'm working with and um, I was so excited to finally have this opportunity like I had already claimed it it was mine because you have to claim stuff like that you have to already claim it, it was mine I applied for it and then like a week and a half or two weeks later I get an email saying that uh, they're canceling the position and they will be filling it at this time and I know it's because of this whole uh, corona situation because um, you know once they hire somebody I'll hire somebody different um, there's the interview process and then there's the, like the training thing that goes on and I know like with my company that I work for um, anytime someone is hired they you don't do your training at the same location that um, you work at they always put you somewhere else um, in, in certain uh, in certain uh, situations you get to work uh, you get to train at the same place you're gonna work at but for the most part um, you train at another location other than what you're gonna be working for so but uh, I can't find anything that um that kind of interests me as far as the job goes crazy y'all because I've wanted to be finished with uh, school for so long and it's like now that I'm finished it's like I kind of feel like I want to go back so I feel like for most people like me who you've been going to school for a while, or a while again it feels really weird when you're not going to school I, it's, it's bad as I wanted to be done with school I kind of want to go back which I eventually I think I will go back end up going back to school um, and getting my masters it's not something I'm gonna jump into um, immediately but I definitely do think I want to go back to school and um, maybe get my matches or if not just uh, go for like a bachelor's degree and something else um, but one thing I will I will say is I may need to go back to school for nursing because I, I like I knew nurses got paid but traveling nurses they make bank I'm thankful to be a uh, part of the graduating class of 2020 from Troy University if you um, somebody watching this video and you feel like uh, you're not gonna get there as far as uh, completing your uh, college education it will happen it's just all in God's time and it's all in God's will so <clears throat> really I'm so mad at that because I really finally gathered like my thoughts and how I was gonna say what I was just saying and then the phone started ringing <sighs> if anybody who's watching this video and uh, you were like me where you feel like you would never reach the uh, finish line uh, it will happen it is going to happen we're gonna speak it but it's all in God's time and uh, you will get there. But um, like I said, y'all, eight years of college and I finally have my bachelor's degree. So I, that's my testament. Like I said, you will get there. Um, shout out to all the 2020 graduates, uh, whether it be high school or college. Um, shout out to class 2020, y'all. I'm class 2020. That's it. Um, I just wanted to come in here and share this with y'all. Uh, again, if you're someone who is like me and you feel like you're never going to reach the finish line, it is going to happen. But it's all in God's time and just be patient. So that's all. And um, yeah, I will see y'all a little bit later on. So thank you for watching and I will see y'all next time.